Good afternoon again. This is V with Art of Wigs with V. And keeping kind of in the vein of falling back into fall with color, um, I ordered a wig that I am particularly fond of, that I actually have in one, two, well, I really only have it in two colors. Well, now I have it in three colors, but I have multiples of one of the colors. And it's really one of my favorite wigs. And uh, if you've been watching my channel, you're probably guessing already what it is. Um, and I don't think I've actually ever done a complete styling of this wig. Uh, I know I've done Jet. I actually can't remember if I really did this one. But I wanted to try it in a new color that I haven't been wearing and didn't know if I would ever be able to pull it off. I think for me, it probably does need a root, which I may end up doing that and show you how I do that in another video. So um, right now I'm going to introduce you to a new wig that was sent to me by Franny's hair. And um, I want to thank her for that. And I'm going to show you Perry, but I'm showing her today in the color. 30 slash 28 slash 26. Mm. It's a red. It's described as medium auburn, light auburn, and gold blonde blend. And that is perfectly the right description. It is a warm color. So it may not be my color, but I think it's a pretty color. I think it might be someone's color. And if you're looking for a red that doesn't have a root, this could be your color. So let me try it. And you all know that I have I have more than one Perry, as I said. And I do love Perry for its stylability. And she's gonna be pretty flat when I put her on because it's right out of the box. And I've been really eager to kind of play around with her. So I need to get this done today so I can get to that, right? I am, after all, still a girl. Oh, and a girl needs a lot of hair, I guess. <laughs> anyway, or so we think we do. You can only wear one at a time then, no, you know, guys. So anyway, hang on. Oh, and I'm in 7 Mono, part by Ellen Villa in the color Silver Blonde Rooted. So let me take that off. And I'm going to show you first Perry's cap. This is Perry in the color 30, 28, 26. No root, and I'm going to show you her cap. She has a left mono part, lace front that goes from ear tab to ear tab, fabric covered ear tabs with stays in them. Uh, the adjusters are still the kind of clip adjusters, you know, the, the hook adjusters, I'm sorry, like would go on a strap of a bra onto the base of the bra, which uh, quite honestly, when I get them um, where I want them, I go in and I put a couple stitches in them and I even put a, a stitch or two over, tightly over that um, that metal clip so that none of them will come loose and, and dangle down. I had that happen to me one day when I came home from the grocery store with Jen on and one was hanging down the back. <laughs> so they're working on changing to um, Velcro adjusters. So that'll be nice. So it has an extended nape. It's an open extended nape. And there's a little bit of permatease, but yeah, you know, it's not really much. There's wefting sewn going like this and like this and kind of sideways like this underneath this lace here. There's a little bit of permatease in there. There's not much permatease in Perry at all. I usually have to go in and create some, which on my little piece of cream. So you're going to see when she comes that she's pretty flat. So I'm gonna put her on to show you how flat she is. This is kind of what Perry looks like when she comes. Now, 
at the showroom soiree that we had in Pennsylvania at Aesthetica. A lady tried on Perry in, uh, I want to say it was 12 slash 26, blonde, and it looked lovely on her. She hadn't done anything to it. It was just like this, but it was perfect on her face. She didn't have to do anything to it. Uh, for me, it's not a good look, okay? She had the perfect face for it. For me, it kind of drags my face down unless I have some height. I mean, I've got an aging face here. And uh, anyway, so Perry is, I want to talk about the measurements because the last two Perrys I've got in, this one being number two, seem to be considerably longer here and here than any I had before. So I'm not exactly sure what that's all about. However, manufacturers are allowed, I think, a 15% variance on cut and style and color to still be the same style and the same color. So they're well within that. And I love Aesthetica wigs. They're one of my very favorite brands. So um, I don't find any fault with that. The hair is lovely. It feels great. The caps are incredibly stretchy. Look at this. So they fit anywhere from my petite circumference of 21, even when I was only 20 and a half, and my 11 and a half to 11 and a half here, and my seven inch face. They fit everything from that size because of their 360 degree stretch to a size probably 23 without an issue. So that's another reason that they're my favorite. Am I grabbing white wefts up here? I can grab maybe three, but I don't see a big bump up there, so I'm not really worried about it. Now, it has, this is the mono part. I have to put some uh, glasses on so that I can look in a small mirror to find a parting space. I think I'm just gonna comb right through it and see where it kind of falls. Cause of it, you know. I have a tendency to like my parts lower than they usually have them, which with this one, it's going to interfere with this front part right here if I do that. I don't know if I can train that to go over more, so we will just kind of work with what we got. All right, so let me show you Perry all the way around before I start styling her. This is... I'm going to pull this down instead of it going back so you can see. Remember, my face is only seven inches from here to here. So if you have an eight and a half inch face, Perry's going to be an inch and a half shorter on you. Plus, your, your ear to ear and your over the top, if they're smaller, larger than 11 and a half, that will pull it up also and make it still look a little bit shorter. Okay, so this is the side. Perry has a very short nape at 1.25 inches, but it has an extended nape from the base. Do you see that? That base edge fits right on the bottom of the grip and the extension pops over it. So you have some extension there with that. Now I have a very low hairline. So when I wear these short wigs, I shave my neck every day. So here's the other side. My chair doesn't want to spin today. The hooked on a rug. I'm sorry, guys. Here we go. So I'm hoping you're able to see the back. And you can see how she will fall in my face. But when I'm done with her, that's not going to happen. Now, because I think this is an absolutely beautiful color. However, I don't see it as really my color because I have black eyebrows, there's no root, etc. However, I'm going to do some things to her at some point to make her my own. And uh, I'll do another video on that. So if you can just put up with that this color on me for now so that I can do some things to her. I'm going to go in trying not to put any John Renault Peace Out Cream in her. First, I'm going to shake her. Yeah. I'm going to shake her upside down several times, which I do with every wig I get. 
unless it were a long one and it was really curly, which I don't wear. You know, I always wear short ones. And then I rake my hands through it, with taking the hair in the opposite direction, of which it is laying on my head. This is all just to get it up off the cap and see what I can do with it. And then see what am I going to do if I have to put product in it. Okay. All right, so put her back on again. You can see her lace front. A very nice lace front. That right there is my widow's peak sticking out a little bit. But it's beautiful because it's it's not all even. It's not sewn in a straight line. That's a natural looking lace front. And the lace feels really nice, actually. Very soft and nice. Which all my Perry's have felt that way. And once again, I have an issue with this little... Trying to let you see the monofilament lace. Oh, that's the way I can go way over here according to where I'm feeling lace. I want you to see the scalp. Got to remember this is not trained right now. So it's been in a box and it's flat. All right, so I didn't get much height out of that, did I? No. I'm going to go in here and rub around a little bit. I don't have any John Renault Peace Out cream or nothing. I'm just kind of playing around. Just giving myself the feel of the hair and where is it going to go. Look at this. Now, Perry almost looks like it could be almost like an asymmetrical kind of bob look, doesn't it? This is considerably longer than what I usually get. The last one was not, it was about like this. Because with Perry, Perry's measurements are 4.75 on the crown. And I hate to say that, but it's a lot longer than 4.75. Your sides are 1.25. You're going, how could that be? It's because Perry has this amazing undercut side. And these are actually right here. See it? Same thing on the other side. And then bring those, get them trained to come towards your face. You could put behind your ears and have your undercut showing. See that? I don't know of any other wig that has that like that. It's great. The bang, it states, is six inches. That would be this part right here. So, I think... Oh my, I don't see my tape measure. Hang on a minute. Oh, yes, I do. Yay. Okay. So let's take six inches and let's take it from the middle just to give them the benefit of the doubt. From the middle, it is more like eight inches down there. Now, what about this side? We're going to measure from here, I guess. Once again, that's actually, can I read it? Reading in a mirror upside down here, guys. That's nine and a half, which means this piece, the fringe has to be this measurement right here, I think. Let's look. Still, it's seven inches there. So obviously Perry's a lot longer in the fringe than it says it is. So that has not been the case with my first two Perry's. They were shorter than this. It only weighs 2.2 ounces. So I love that. I absolutely love it. Now I'm going to show you how I style Perry. I use that dollar a little dime size of John Reno Peace Out Cream like I do in Jet and almost every wig I get. Rub it in my fingertips until it is warmed up and it disappears. Don't ever slather it in the hair. You'll make your hair greasy. 
I'm going to go up in here and I'm going to make little circles all over the top with the with my hands right on the roots. I'm going to get a little bit more because it just feels like I got to have some more. It was this a little half of a dollar, half of a dime size? I'm going to be in here. Going all over the top with it. As you can see, I'm getting some lift out of her. And I'm using my picker fingers. That's these. These, whoops, hang on. <laughs> it's these four right here. I'm going to move her where I want her to be. Because if I go and do this and push on it, it's going to look like squashed hair. And I want squashed hair, even if I want it to be lower and smoother. I can get that. Still got some stickiness on my hands, so might as well take advantage of it. I have neighbor dogs barking. Sorry if you can hear them. Mm, going in here. Still got stickies. That's good. So, this is what I love about Perry. Because it comes so flat. And yet you can bump it up as much as you want. You just need a little tiny bit of that product of the John Renault Peace Out Cream. And you do not have to put it in every time you wear the hair and you want to style it. All you have to do then is mist your hands with some clear water, go back in, just revitalize the product. That will keep you from having to wash your wig more often. Even if you use wig wax, you do not need to spray it in your hair every single time you're going to wear your wig. You just need to do the same thing. Spray water on your hands and go in, go back in and revitalize that product. Overwashing will wear your wigs out faster. Now, I can see all the puffy things under my eyes. Remember, I've been dealing with a sinus infection, so not looking so hot here. So let me put some glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. I love Perry. I absolutely love Perry. I think Perry is one of the ultimate sculptural looks that you can find in here. And you can do a lot with her. Like I can hold on to this lace. I can rake my hands through here. Do a big swoop over. I can even go over to the side and bring some of that over if I want to. I can put this right behind my ear. Get my sideburns undercut, pulled out. And I have a very smooth and sleek kind of all about business or sophisticated style. Whatever you want to call it. I can then pull out a piece here if I want it, just to break it up a little bit. So she looks like me or maybe all about business, but maybe a little fun too. So I guess That's how I style Perry. Let me uh, spin and show you what it looks like on the back. Styled like this. Oh, I could also do a little, little more down here if I wanted. See? And there's like no limits to how you can style her.
Nice stays in the back to pinch in. Nice stays on the sides to pinch toward your head so that it hugs your head. A 1.25 nape, but the extended nape takes it down a little lower for you. I have a very long hairline down to here. I shave my neck because I wear all of these short wigs, but I don't like hair on my neck hanging down. So this is Perry in the color 30, 28, slash 26. No root, a lovely red, and I think it's, like I said, it's described as a warm, which is aptly described. It is medium auburn, light auburn, and golden blonde blend. Now, how does it work for somebody with black eyebrows? Hmm, I don't know. I kind of like her because of fall. I thought about, and I might try this, spraying some, um, uh, it's called, you know, the dry shampoo in her, only in a really dark color, like near the root, and just in and out a little bit just to have a little more repeat of my dark color and that was washed right out typically I'd prefer to do that before I put John Reno peace out cream in her um but I don't know I kind of like her I like it with these glasses because they kind of pick that up and they you can do different things to help your your face and that deal with warm colors even when you have cool undertones and I have very cool undertones um I have on a I have just neutral makeup on I wear pretty much neutral makeup all the time foundation and I've got a blush on today that is a peachy color and then one that is uh, on, with it that is kind of a, a caramel peach color just to warm it warm my face up a little bit more I don't wear eyeshadow because I have very sensitive eyes and uh, I'm always getting uh, itchy eyes and that from them. So I pretty much have to stay away from that. So, um, or you could, and you can also warm up your lip color if you would like to. And wear a color that, for me, I've got a color that's in the complementary color scheme family from this color hair today. I could wear a warmer color and it would work also. Um, I think that you just have to remember that if you want to wear a color really badly and you want to experiment, your self-confidence will pull off that color more than you realize. If you feel self-confident in it and you're enjoying wearing it, other people will see you the same way. So, Perry. One of my favorites. And it remains to be seen if I'm going to alter this color in any way, shape, or form. I'd actually prefer not to if I don't have to. Or if anything, just maybe put a really light uh, medium brown root right in, right there at the end of the hair. And maybe a little bit right there. I can do that with a Sharpie marker. Sharpies will not wash out, though. Uh, Copic markers will. So will furniture markers, but Sharpies will not. So I have to be really sure if I do that. Or I may try the um, dark brown um, dry shampoo and see what that does because it will wash out. It won't get gummy. That's root touch-up spray that will get gummy. So anyway, I appreciate you stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you the uh, courage to maybe try something new for fall, even if it's a new color in your style. And that might make you even more comfortable than trying on a whole, a whole different style. And um, if you liked what you saw today and you got something out of it, I ask that you like and subscribe because it helps me to know uh, what you're looking for, how I can help you. 
on this wig journey. So you take care of yourself. You have a rest of the great Labor Day as I'm here sitting creating videos and I'm not really doing anything today anyway. So uh, we have a little cooler day in Michigan and that actually feels kind of good because we were in the 90s and we suddenly then sometimes drop to like the, the 60s and it wreaks havoc on your body. Thus, what you're hearing in my voice and etc. So thank you for bearing with me on that. But I wanted to get these things out to you because they kind of were piling up on me. And um, I love enjoying, I, I enjoy, sorry, uh, bringing you information that you need. Um, I love doing that. So thank you for watching and you take care. Goodbye.